Uh, you know, today uh, starts the serious preparation for the Raiders. Uh, it was game plan day, scouting report game plan. And so we talked to those guys about what we feel like we have to do uh, to win the game. You know, the Raiders are uh, a physical team. They have uh, big guys along the front, and they have a lot of speed uh, at the skill positions and on the back end. And they try to utilize uh, all of that in the way they play. Um, and so we know that we need to be ready. And that was one of the messages that I talked to those guys about is be ready on Saturday. Because, you know, sometimes that body clock, you, you get on a schedule and and we've been playing on Sunday and all of that, but now we're going to play on Saturday. So uh, we need to speed up that clock a little bit so that we can be ready to play uh, Saturday and be able to get off to a good start um, from, from the kickoff, from when the whistle blows, uh, start good and continue to be good throughout the game. And so um, that was a message to, uh, to the guys this morning. And for them to understand that this Raider team, they're in the same situation we are. They need to win like we need to win, and they'll be ready to go. Um, and so what we have to do is we have to uh, put the best effort out there. We really have to play our best game uh, of the year. And so uh, that's what I talked to them about and try to get that done. And uh, hopefully they listened and, and they took it in and they will apply it uh, in their preparation today, tomorrow, Friday, and then uh, put it out there on Sunday and be the best that we can be. All right, with that, I'll open it up. Coach, Brian Suckup today was named Special Teams Player of the Week. Just can you talk a little bit about him? I know him early in the year he kind of struggled, but now 21 straight, it seems he's an automatic, uh, probably a coach's dream, you know, that you can rely on him. Can you just talk a little bit about him? Is it his work ethic? It is the way he approaches things? What is it that's made him so reliable? Well, I think you said it. You know, it's his work ethic, the way he approaches his job, the way he goes about it. Uh, he takes it very serious seriously um, and any time that he feels like he's off he'll do extra work kick extra balls you know work with the holder and the snapper and everything he can do he'll do it to try uh, to be the best he can on game day and it's showing up in the results what do you feel comfortable with as far as his range well, generally, it always depends on the conditions, you know, but uh, if we can get him inside the 35, we think that we have a chance. Romeo, looking back at that first Raider game a couple months ago, it was easy for you to tell that day that Carson Palmer was the new guy in town, that, that, that this is a guy who had not played much football recently or practiced with that team much recently? Well, yeah, as the, as the game went along, you could tell that he wasn't on with his receivers and, you know, uh, there were some nuances about the offense that were different uh, and and he had to get used to them. You know, as I look at him now, it looks like that he's used to them. He knows the receivers. He knows the runners. He knows the system. Uh, and I thought last week he did a really good job of uh, of, of getting the ball to the playmakers, uh, you know, by what Detroit was giving him. And, and you know, probably should have won the game, even though they didn't. But, you know, he had a chance. He, he missed a guy on the sideline at the end of the game that would have, would have put it out of reach, you know. Uh, and then at the end, they still had a chance to drive it down, you know, to attempt a field goal. But um, they couldn't quite get it done. Uh, but, you know, I, I thought he operated the offense effectively last week. There is, uh, if, if there is any player you could probably give your team a extensive scouting report on, it's called Carson Palmer. I haven't seen him twice a year for four years. It would be crazy probably. Yes. I mean, he's very consistent. Uh, you know, he studies. He, he knows what the defense uh, – will we'll give him how they are trying to attack him, and, uh, and he uses his weapons very well. Are there some similarities in, in what Carson did and what Kyle has done coming in midseason and kind of calming the team a little bit and, and kind of solidifying that position? Well, you know, uh, Carson has had a couple more games un under his belt with that team. You know, uh, if, if Kyle continues the way he has, I think that you can say that. Way Orton played last week and the things he did for you guys. I mean, he was in a similar situation last week that Palmer was against you guys. Now he'd had a, he'd been here a couple weeks, mm -hmm. and had a little bit of practice time. I mean, looking at what he did, the way he played, was that beyond what you had reason to expect from him the other day? Well, to be totally honest, yes. 
I mean, you know, because he had a finger, hadn't practiced a whole lot, uh, was new to the team and new to the system. Um, you know, the, the thing that I knew about him is I knew that he was a pro quarterback and has played in games in the NFL before uh, and, you know, had a good arm, has a good arm. And so, you know, those things we knew about him, but we, we didn't know how it was going to play out on game day. And it played out very well, but, you know, you just you just don't know going in sometimes. But now that he's done it, you expect it again this week, right? Definitely. <laughs> Injury-wise, how are you? Uh, John McGraw uh, is, is the guy who may not practice today or he'll be limited today in practice. But uh, but otherwise, the guys have normal bumps and bruises, but I think everybody will, will practice. Nothing significant came out of the uh, uh, Green Bay game? No, knock wood, you know. Uh, and, and, you know, we got two days here for those guys to show up if, if anything significant was going to show up and nothing has shown up. In the three years that, uh, that Todd was here, he seems like he's very definitely injected into the players that Phil Parcells mentality that, you know, either your bone is sticking out and you're injured. If you hurt, it doesn't matter. You got to practice, you got to play. Is that the attitude that, that's around here? Well, well, the thing is, is that uh, the player needs to practice to, to play and show that to, and show that he can practice so that you know that he can play. Uh, and generally, what you do is that you give the guy some benefit of the doubt is if he's proven to you, you know, that he can perform um, with a little less practice time. And, you know, so when you have a veteran guy, generally a veteran guy is the guy that you'll give that benefit of the doubt to. Uh, sometimes rookies, they don't know what they don't know, you know, and you might not take a chance on those guys. But uh, you just have to get a feel for the player. And if the player is honest with you um, and, and you develop that trust, then you can say, okay, well, he hasn't practiced all week, but I think that he'll perform at a high level on Sunday. Then you say, okay, we'll let you play. Uh, but if that guy, if you don't develop that trust and you let the guy play and he lets you down, then that says that, well, Probably I'm not going to do it the next time, you know. So you got to develop that trust, and and uh, veterans will get the benefit of the doubt over younger players. You kept the schedule the same, but you're going to approach any of the practices in any different way because you're playing on Saturday rather than Sunday. Well, the tomorrow normally is a is a third down emphasis. It will continue to be a third down emphasis, but we're going to add red zone to it. Uh, tomorrow because effectively tomorrow is the last practice day uh, because on Friday is more of a polish, you know, walkthrough day. Uh, so we'll move red zone into tomorrow's practice. Remember the guys on Sunday talked a, a lot about your positive outlook, the, the, the kind of the positive energy you showed. Is that your general disposition, would you say, or is that something you've learned through coaching? No, generally I'm a positive guy, you know. I, my, my glass is half full. I don't know. It just, that, that, that depends on whether we win or not. <laughs> depends on whether you're working as a coach or a game. <laughs>